muscle in your back, lower back, upper your lats, everything. Very beneficial. They're called the rack pulls. Um, I like to stand on a plate for a little bit of extra height. You want it to be um, at your knees here in the bar. Um, you're going to start kind of at a deadlift stance. Go come down. Um, and then you're going to pull up in your back. And um, all the way at the top, you're going to kind of squeeze your shoulder blades at the top here. And back. And then back down. All good. You want to focus on stabilizing your back and you're pulling backwards, chest up and out. A few more things I want to add about the um, rack pulls that I did today. Um, it is a great exercise to do if you're nursing any type of lower body injury, such as your lower back or your hamstrings. It is a lot like a traditional deadlift, but the range of motion is a lot shorter. So you're not pulling all the way from the ground and up. You know, it's on that rack, so it's a really short movement, but it still works great for your back muscles. Um, it's also a great compound bodybuilding movement as well as a power lifting accessory. So um, either way, um, there's a lot of different grips and stances, stances you can use when doing the rack pull. I did the double overhand um, grip for mine, which I recommend if you're doing it as a um, compound bodybuilding movement. And if you're doing it more for power lifting, use whatever grip you're comfortable with, you know, the hook, the under over grip, whatever you want to, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, and also different stances. You can do sumo, sumo stance or what I did, just the regular shoulder width apart. Um, again, whatever you're comfortable with. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I will be doing a few more of these tip type videos coming up in the near future, so be on the lookout for those. Uh, until then, remember, if I can, so can you.